Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this video, we are going to be breaking down Power Rangers Zio episode 37, Scent of a Weasel. Let's get into it, talk about it, hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! I can't do this on my own, because you know they Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the fan club. It is your boy, Brosdan Brosnan, in the building, and we are so, so happy to have you guys. Welcome, welcome to the show. In this video, we are going to be breaking down Power Rangers Zio episode 37, Scent of a Weasel. This was a very interesting episode. I had a good time with it, and who doesn't love the warrior wheel? Let's talk about it. In Scent of a Weasel, the Power Rangers are thrown into chaos as a new threat emerges, leaving them vulnerable and scrambling for a solution. While preparing for a fashion show, Bulk and Skull accidentally douse a model in skunk spray, setting the stage for a hilariously disastrous event. Meanwhile, on the moon, Louis Kaboom, once under the control of Rita and Zed, continues to wreak havoc. Now with his own robotic army, he unleashes the monster Stenchy, whose putrid odor disrupts the city and damages the Power Ranger suits. Back at the command center, the Rangers receive a distress call from Trey, warning of impending doom. To their surprise, a mysterious object enters the Earth's atmosphere, revealing itself to be a new Megazord, the Warrior Wheel. With Pyramidus out of commission, the Gold Ranger takes the helm of this powerful weapon. However, Stenchy and his cog minions target the beach where Emily, Jason, Kat, and Tanya are enjoying a day out. A tense battle ensues with the Power Rangers struggling against Stenchy's foul stench. Louis Kaboom, disguised as a missile, joins the fray, showcasing his own destructive power. The Power Rangers manage to defeat Stenchy, but not before he wreaks havoc on the city. The episode ends with a triumphant victory for the Power Rangers, but a sense of unease lingers as Louis Kaboom's true motives remain unclear, setting the stage for a larger conflict to come. Yeah, this is the second time I believe we see Louis going to be around for a few more episodes before the Machine Empire, Machine King comes back. This was a lot of fun. You got to see skull pull himself a supermodel because once he messed up he made it right you saw in the end that jason who was very reluctant about modeling decided to do it to impress emily you see he's shooting his shot right there i wonder how long this emily character sticks around i barely remember some of these episodes so it's really awesome to take a walk down memory lane and not only relive some of these moments, but to watch them for like the first time, it feels like because a lot of this stuff happened when I was a kid and I forget pieces of it. Also, the warrior wheel is so freaking cool, man. I have one right here. I'm looking at it. I think it is just one of my favorite little Zeo Zords. Like, obviously, the Super Zeo Megazord is probably one of the best ones. A lot of people do like the um, the Zeo Red Battle Zord for Tommy. That one's super cool. But there's something about Pyramidus. I love Pyramidus. I also love that dang warrior wheel. It kind of has like a football look to it. Just love that thing. Let's get into some notes from Ranger Wiki. This is the debut of the warrior wheel. Also, Skull mentions the use of tomato juice to get rid of the smell from an episode of The Partridge Family. The episode to which he is referring to is But the Memory Lingers On. Man, The Partridge Family. Holy crap, haven't thought about that show in a very long time. This episode's title is a reference to the 92 movie Scent of a Woman. I had a lot of fun with this one. I love seeing like all these characters come back from like Rita to Zed. You see Rito, Goldar in here. You also have like a newer villain. This was pretty cool. You got a whole bunch of villains in these episodes. I also love that they're trying to build the Gold Rangers character real quick. I know we only have so many episodes, but man. 
You got to see Skull pull a supermodel. It was kind of cool, but yet he was himself. He wasn't trying to be anything but himself when he was pulling her. So it was kind of cool. I cannot lie. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Shout out all the fans out there that continue to watch this content. You're the real MVPs and the reason why we can continue to make stuff like this. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Peace. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, the Arctic Operator, Salima Ramirez, Stephen Heffelman, Thomas Franco, Anime King Nick, Lewis Cairns, Austin White, and Papillon Purple. Thank you guys so much for your support, and if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, hit that share button, and if you can, please sign up to be a member today. We have three membership power-ups. We have the Gold Ranger power-up, the most popular. You get into our exclusive fan club chat group. We have fan exclusive videos that we are adding monthly now. And you get a video shout out. Yes, folks, at the end of our videos, I will shout out your name. We also have the Quantum Ranger Power Up where you get monthly meetings online with me. Yes, folks, we will talk once a month on Zoom and you can give me your ideas for future episodes. And then we have a professional package, the Dr. K Power Up. That is for businesses that want to tap into the platform. If you guys can, please sign up to be a member today. It is highly appreciated and it helps us keep these videos going. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. We, we have are been requested, requested by, by the, the Flam Club, Club to say something funny.